and Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the San Francisco 49ers and the Miami Dolphins. Oh, and how about this? An onside kick to start the game. They'll run here with Raheem Mostert. They find some open field here. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. CD always more eyes on these night games, and they started it off nicely there on that run. Yeah, and you're exactly right. Don't think for a second these players don't know and understand that. They want to impress their peers across the league. They also want to win the ball game. That's the way to get things going. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A run with Mostert up the middle. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Throwing on second and eight. Tua. That is caught by Waddle. Touchdown Miami. Jalen Waddle. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 21. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Well, he's going to take a shot right away. And this is incomplete. Well played defensively. Nearly had the interception. But it's second down. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. From the 21, it's second and 10. Play action, Garoppolo. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions.
To throw is Garoppolo. Rolling to his left. Man open. That's Debo Samuel. He's going to pick up. Oh, an absolutely filthy juke. He's got some space now. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 79 yards. And the Niners are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Gold with the extra point, and we are tied at seven. Boy, tie game, first quarter, but still, they're going to go with the onside kick. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Yeah, we saw that one up here, CD. Offensive team, they touched that before it went 10 yards. Obviously, such a fine line, letting it go the required 10 yards, but also getting to it before the hands team can. Just didn't time it out right, and that results in a flag. Up the middle they go with Mostert. And he's got some space here. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert, 49 yards. And the Dolphins have moved out in front. And it's no good. He misses the PAT. So file that one away. Could eventually loom large here as the night progresses. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Here's McLeod from his end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The 40. Ray Ray McLeod. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, 49ers. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys fielded that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want him to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 and the 24. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. 86 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards, but also like what the runner's given us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. The first carry for the North Texas man, it's Jeff Wilson. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Now they'll throw with Tagovailoa. Goes. The 49ers get there. They get to him for a loss of four, and it brings up third down on the sack. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them, and they get their first sack of the contest. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Going up top. And unable to connect, incomplete. 
Uh, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. And this is a beauty as that ball's going to angle out at the six-yard line. The field position game, such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. to back good plays have them on the move on first down first down here's Mitchell and a six yard gain gets him right around the 43 six yards on that last play here's second and four on second down here's Mitchell and he'll get it out to midfield let's see yeah they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50 seven yards there at a first down they're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. Here we go, here we go. 21, 21. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Second down and right back to McCaffrey. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. They'll try and pick it up with Mitchell. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. But that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Another run with McCaffrey on second down, and down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. 56 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. They run over center with Mitchell, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Right back to Mitchell on second down. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. On third down, here's Mitchell. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Back 
They'll run with Mitchell. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Elijah Mitchell, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and the lead is up to eight. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. Finding room at midfield. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the line of scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Meanwhile, to his throw, caught by his receiver, Hill. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 41, Tua. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's Mostert. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. One more time with Mostert. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. They'll run with Mostert. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert in the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good. And this is now a one-point game. So six seconds, all that remains to this first half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. set to get this drive underway. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And some room to maneuver. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. Final shot here before half. Dancing to his left. Now he'll square up and throw deep left sideline. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The 
49er offense set to get this drive underway. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead now, a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, and believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game as a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it. And in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Garoppolo looks to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Play fake. Garoppolo. This will be caught. It's Samuel. He's got room at the 30. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. It's a gain of 34. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. From the gun, a give to Mitchell. And he'll get it down inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Another run, this time McCaffrey. And he'll take it from the 18 to the 15, a gain of three. A shotgun handoff to Mitchell. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. the gut, McCaffrey. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Ball at the 9 on 2nd and 8. Garoppolo now. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. And the Dolphins force the turnover. And they'll take over at the 10. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Six guys, check this guy. Second down, here's Mostert again. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient. Followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Tua sets up to pass it. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Tyreek Hill 
67 yards. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the final seconds of the third quarter. The two are going to try and throw for it. And he's going to go down. Can't get rid of it. So a sack on the two-point try. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Fields it right around the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing the battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. On play action, it's Garoppolo. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Trying to get that one to his tight end. And they've been trying to get the ball to him, but as of yet, unable to successfully complete one. But you know there's usually a nice comfort zone in throwing to the tight end. Great sight lines, usually right in the middle of the field. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And that is incomplete. I think it's safe to say that he's made some questionable decisions out there so far. Forced some throws into tight coverage. He's already been picked off in this game. Fourth down now, but he was fortunate on that one not to have another turnover on his ledger. Now Garoppolo got to have this one. And this one is incomplete. The nine.